Welcome to Harmony Road. I'm Les Butler, and we are at the Music Road Resort in Pigeon Forge, the Great Smoky Mountains. What a beautiful place, and we'll talk to you more about uh, this beautiful place in a moment. But first, you're here for the Southern Gospel Music, and I've got the Dixie Melody Boys to start us off with The Call. The first to her the call dropped their nets upon the shore. When asked to give their all, they surrender to the Lord. Those ordinary fishermen weren't afraid to lose their lives. They knew surely he was worth the price. And the call is still the same. Serving God always has a cost for any faithful one. There's bound to be some loss. The disciples gave everything when they laid aside their nets to follow him. Our cost is nothing less. And the cost everyone, this is Les Butler, host of Harmony Road. For the better part of four decades, you've listened to my radio shows and watched as I played the piano and various other instruments all across the country with many of your favorite Southern Gospel friends. Well, I've just completed my first piano solo CD titled Simply Hymns, just me and my piano playing 22 of your favorite hymns. Simple, tasteful arrangements that invite you to sing along as you listen. Go to HarmonyRoadTV.com to purchase your copy today. I've autographed the first hundred copies and I'll even pay for the shipping and handling.
Welcome back to Harmony Road. And uh, well, if you like Southern gospel music, you're at the right place. I promise you that. Matter of fact, how about two great Southern gospel songs back to back? And there's one gentleman that's going to be involved with both. I'm talking about Phil Cross. Here's Phil Cross and Poet Voices with Grace and Glory. Well, hey, man. What's up, brother? There you go. Did you not know we were shooting today? <laughs> this is what you want. <laughs> Awesome. Good to see you. What's up, man? Hey, man. Good to see you. You know Dan. Good to see you, buddy. He's learning. Yeah. Let's walk him up. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Cool. No doubt. That looks good, man. That looks good, huh? Here, let's go. Unmerited favor of the Savior falling from his holiness. It is never ending grace extending from his righteousness to the undeserving God is serving bountiful supply. His great love's abounding and surrounding us from sky to sky. His love is full of grace and glory. That is why I sing. I'll tell the blessed gospel story. Let his praise has rain. My cup is overflowing, ever going. He's my king. His love is full of grace and glory. That is why I sing. There is splendor for a sinner saved by God's amazing grace. There's glory in their story as they run this pilgrim race. They spend the days to give them praise to the Lord and King. Till the work is done, they serve the one who gave them everything. His love is full of grace and glory, that is why I sing. I'll tell the blessed gospel story, let his praises ring. My cup is overflowing, ever knowing he's my King. His love is full of grace and He would make a way 
bring God's children home. Jesus built a bridge to heaven so that I could have a way up to him. Jesus built a bridge the only way he could with only three nails and two pieces of wood with one rugged cross Jesus built a bridge with only Three nails and two pieces of wood. With one rugged cross, Jesus built a Scotty, we're not done with the show There's today. Something Can wonderful we stay about around putting for a the gospel. Longer? Yes, music. tell so the folks we're going to be back. Yeah, don't go anywhere because we have a lot that, more. As a matter of fact, that song music. was written uh, written for kids. I wanted children to understand that uh, the cross is not a place of defeat, but it's a place where the greatest thing that was ever built for the human race was built with three nails and two pieces of wood. Phil Cross, what a wonderful, wonderful job. And by the way, that is from the Songs of a Lifetime series, one of my favorite video series in Southern Gospel music. Well, you're listening to Harmony Road, and we've got more coming up in just a moment. Please stay tuned. Don't miss a single issue of The Singing News Magazine, the printed voice of Southern Gospel music. Subscribe today by going to HarmonyRoadTV.com. That's HarmonyRoadTV.com. Welcome back to Harmony Road. Again, we're at the beautiful Music Road Resort in the heart of the Great Smoky Mountains in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Let's continue with the music and call on a quartet that's been doing it for 50 plus years, still doing a great job. Here are the Kingsmen. Ooh, yeah. 
Thou art worthy, the Lamb be praised, the Lamb be praised. Come back in just a few minutes. You don't want to miss any of Harmony Road. Don't miss a single issue of The Singing News Magazine, the printed voice of Southern Gospel Music. Subscribe today by going to HarmonyRoadTV.com. That's HarmonyRoadTV.com. Hey, this is Sean Mayer, and I just want to let everybody know to stop in at the Smokehouse if you're ever on your way to Chattanooga or Nashville. They not only have a great gift shop, awesome food, great entertainment on Saturday nights, but beautiful cabins to stay in. Check it out. Make the Smokehouse your mountain getaway destination. Stay in one of our 84 lodge rooms and 20 timber frame log cabins. Look around our trading posts and eat in our delicious restaurant. Welcome back to Harmony Road. Right now we're going to play a video from one of my favorite people in this music. I'm telling you, he'll make you laugh, he'll make you cry. He's a musician, a singer, a songwriter. He is my friend. Here's Tim Lovelace. The guitar is an interesting <laughs> instrument. You can play it a lot of different ways. Like you hear it in churches today, a lot of praise and worship where they strum a lot. And then you have picking stuff where like a, a lot of bluegrass people, you get on one string, and it's kind of considered to me like a stuttering style. You get on one string and go back and forth. That's all you have to do. Just you know, you either pick it, or if you are a little nervous, it doesn't matter. You, that's all you do. Just, uh. So anyway, it's kind of a picking style. Then there's a third style. It's one of my favorite styles of all. Back when you didn't have people that played uh, like you'd have one guitar in a group, and so the guy would be have to be the bass guitar picker, and he would, and then he'd pick the melodies and counter melodies around it. They say it's hard to do, that you, to do like two things at one time, but the doctor told me that the left side of my brain wasn't right. <laughs> and the right side of my brain didn't have much left. In fact, the way I'm wired, I'm really considering when I die, just giving my body to science, fiction. So anyway, you don't hear that style a whole lot. And I was up doing, doing a, a concert with Mr. Ricky Skaggs up in Western Canada. And I was up there, and out in the middle of nowhere, those wheat fields and stuff out in the middle where the buffalo play and all that. There's nothing around there. There was a 19-year-old boy over by the ed edge of the stage, and I heard him over there, and he was just going. And I heard him over there going. And I walked over there, and my socks went up and down three times. I said, son, where did you learn to pick like that? He said, well, I listened to a lot of records. He said, you're a southerner, aren't you? <laughs> Didn't even know I was. I said, yeah, born in the south and proud of it. He said, do you southerners know the song, I'll Fly Away? <laughs> I said, I'll have thou knowest, O youngest boy sitting on the edge of thy stage. When I get nervous or a little upset, I start talking in King James. I said, I'll have thou knowest, O young boy, that it was a southerner who wrote, I'll Fly Away. And not only that, Albert E. Brumley, but we down south can sing that song not only frontwards, we can sing it backwards. We know it. So we got together and picked a little guitar and had a good time. Now, page two. I'm coming home on the plane. It's about 36,000 feet. At least that's what the pilot told me. And I didn't measure it myself. And we're going along there, and it's, it's nighttime, so it's dark. And all of a sudden, I heard the engine start going. No laughing matter. No, well, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I knew something was going on. I looked up there in the first class section where musicians don't sit, and I saw that, that stewardess pick up the little phone, and she talked to the pilot. She hung it up. I'm telling you the truth. She hung up that little phone, sat down, turned white, and buckled herself in. 
Well, you know, I, I knew we, we definitely had a problem then. I pulled out my, my, my Bible. I love the Word of God. I pulled out my Bible, but I didn't know until that minute <laughs> that I was a speed reader. <laughs> Genesis to Revelation, twice. <laughs> Three minutes. <laughs> and about that time, the pilot came on. And he said, y'all, I need to talk to you. We've got a serious... Well, he didn't say y'all. <laughs> Then I said, y'all, I'd have figured he was a crop duster from Mississippi. <laughs> I wouldn't have got on the plane in the first place. But anyway, he said something to the effect of everybody, I need to talk to you. We're experiencing some engine trouble. We need to uh, bring the plane down. But he said, to add to the problem, we've got to bring it through the wall of a storm. And he said, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a very, very, very rough ride. About that time, the stewardess from the back come running up, and, 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 they, and they put that little uh, recording back on again. In case the oxygen thing drops down or whatever, it may not totally inflate. Just breathe naturally. Breathe naturally? <laughs> I figured if I strap that thing on there, when I take one pull, it's going to be like a Hoover vacuum cleaner plugged into 220. When I, when I pull on that thing one time, the pilot's socks were coming off. You know what I mean? Ain't no breathing naturally. And she come walking by. She said, everybody, uh, buckle up, buckle up. And she said, uh, is, is there anything uh, before I sit down? Does anybody need anything? I said, yes, ma'am. I said, I, I need something. She said, what? I said, is, is, is it true that that little black box is the only thing that survives a crash? <laughs> she said, well, sir, we're, try oh, we're not planning on crashing. I said, I didn't ask that. I asked, is it true that little black box is the only thing that survives? She said, well, yes, sir, it usually does survive a crash. I said, well, I don't know how little it is, but if I take my shoes off and you point me to it, I believe I could get inside of it right about now. <laughs> I'm feeling double-jointed, if you know what I mean. And I was talking to the Lord, and I said, Lord, if I need forgiveness for anything at all, you just let me know. And so I got to thinking about telling that boy we could sing uh, I'll Fly Away backwards. And I thought, now, if I need forgiveness, it was just a figure of speech. You know, but if I need forgiveness, Lord, for, forgive me. So if y'all would, y'all sing along with me, and, I, and I'll, uh, I'll feel a whole lot better about it. Y'all just sing with me. Away, fly, oh, glory, oh, away, fly. Oh. Y'all just sing with me. By and by, hallelujah, die when away, fly. Y'all yeah, not singing very much. Away, fly, oh, glory, oh, away. Cloud. Come on now. <laughs> by and by, hallelujah, die when away cloud. Y'all not helping me at all. I tell you what, 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 why don't we try a verse? See if y'all know that. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> or is life when morning glad some away cloud. <laughs> sure, celestial God, on home or two away cloud. Everybody now, away cloud. ending on this thing. Now, y'all help me. Bye and bye. Hallelujah. Die when it's just a way fly. A way fly. Give yourselves a hand. Thank you, Tim Lovelace. Well, I'm Les Butler, and this is Harmony Road TV, and, well, we're at the end of the show. Not to worry, though. We'll be back next week. But uh, how about this week sometime you check us out online. Go to HarmonyRoadTV.com or Facebook.com and just simply type in Harmony Road TV. Until then, we'll see you next week. I mean, this is my first time to yep. ever get to pick with the Earl Scrubs. <laughs> so I reached to grab my banjo and they're like an A flat. I didn't have capo or whatever. And, and I grabbed it up real quick and I thought, well, you know, I can't even do a good open G. So I just kind of, he, Mr. Earl turned to me, he said, well, all right. When he saw my five string, I just wanted to pick next to him. So about all I could do is kind of beat on, beat on, beat on. <laughs> about once a quarter, either Tim will text me or I'll text him and here's what the text consists of. Be, be donk, donk, be donk. donk. <laughs> that's, that's it right there.